Hello there, everybody. Today we're taking a look at an incredible political simulator by Verlumino Studios. I believe it's Verlumino Studios. In any case, thank you, Verlumino, for passing on a copy of this game. We're currently going through a U.S. Uh, primary election, and we're going to be moving into a major election. And I have finally found an actual good political simulator, particularly an election simulator and even a U.S. political simulator by itself. Now, I'm going to explain why. This game allows you to create um, a policy politician completely how you want him. You can obviously randomize um, his first name, his land, last name, create some general information about him. You can make him a Democrat or a Republican. You can even mess with appearance over here. And once we get into policy, this is where things get just amazing. You're actually going to be set, filling out a questionnaire, essentially, about what you uh, agree with, disagree with, how you'd like to run politically. And from this, you're going to create a sort of uh, political class to your own, where you can actually not only use this to you know, get viewers, get uh, more votes, etc. But eventually you actually get protégés that will take your political, uh, you know, notions or ideas and sort of run with them. And if they win elections, you also get points from them. It's just absolutely incredible. You can also start with the savings uh, as high as you want it. It could be like Michael Bloomberg and just run right into the election. Because the incredible thing about this game is you're not just running for president. You start out with absolutely nothing. So what you need to do is you actually need to run for things like city council, mayor, and work your way up to maybe House, maybe Senate. But it's really, really fascinating how this is all done. And it's so hard to explain in just a 10 or 15 minute video here. That being said, you get a starting location. When I say you get a starting location, I am going to show you just how specific. Just as an example here, let's go ahead and just take Ohio, for instance. We're going to click continue. And what do you know? We can select from all these different, different districts in Ohio. You can also select just a random county to start in. But one interesting thing is depending on the district that you select, your policy decisions are going to have to align with the people that live in that district. I mean, let's face it, not every district is poor. I was trying to win a city council election trying to reduce homelessness when our homelessness rate was 1%. So you're not going to win a lot of votes that way, and that's one way that this game is quite different from a lot of other... So let's go ahead and start over here in Holmes County. So this is a highly Republican county, um, and I believe that our current... Uh, Guy, I actually don't recall, but I'm pretty sure that he was a uh, Democrat. Uh, just to make sure, you know what, we'll exit to main menu. Uh, I'll also show you guys dictator mode here, where you control all aspects of a government without interference from voters or legislators. Uh, although we'll do that a little bit later. Right now we're just going to jump into campaign mode. So we're going to randomize that. We're going to randomize appearance policy. We are just going to select policy presets. Uh, you can just go here and pretty much select what you want <clears throat> in terms of your fiscal policy. Let's go liberal. Um, social policies will go conservative. We'll have a little uh, sort of mixed blend, as it were. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and continue. So at that point, we go to advanced. Our savings doesn't really matter. But in this case, we'll start with 20 million. And we'll jump to Texas this time. Very red state. But we're going to go near Austin, hopefully. Is Austin over here? Uh, we'll try to find a somewhat blue area here. And hopefully, we can, of course, win something. Now, this, these are the different things you can actually run for. Uh, school board district, city council district, state house district, um, state senate, congressional district, and eventually, guys, even the presidency. In fact, if you want something I did in my first game, you can go ahead and just run for president right off the bat. Um, just, you know, even if you're just a mayor or even a city councilman, you can actually attempt to run for president. I got like 7% of the national vote. So obviously you probably want to prepare. So here we just have to select a chief of staff. We'll take Agustin Salinas and he'll give you a lot of information about the game that you'll absolutely want to read and pretty much learn the game. Because the thing is, there's one beautiful aspect of the game, which is the election cycle itself. And then the next aspect of the game is you're actually in control of that position. And you have the responsibilities, you know, con um, connected to that position. But at the same time, when you go into like national elections and even statewide elections for like Senate, you need to have respect amongst other politicians. And that's where this political points comes in. There's a lot of different ways to gain political points, but the one major way to gain them is to just go ahead and win an election. So we're going to jump here to the jobs page and we can see that the school board member is open. So is the city council member and the mayor. We can maybe just go ahead and run for mayor. Who knows? We'll get lucky, right? So I'm going to apply for this. I don't actually expect to win. We'll take Charles Snow here. This is a man uh, where you can't go wrong with him. And you get to select what priority you have. Now, 
when you start off in the game, unless you want to go ahead and pretty much start with a bunch of money and immediately do polling, uh, which costs money in the game, um, you're going to go ahead and have to kind of guess how people feel over here about certain issues. So I'm going to say, I'm going to be kind of a conservative Democrat. So I want to reduce total crime. And actually, total crime's at 20%. Um, that's pretty good, actually. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. But it's pretty good in comparison to a lot of uh, other areas. But we're going to reduce the crime rate. And we are also going to have an economic priority to increase the minimum wage to appeal to our Democratic voters. And let's go ahead and also, we don't want to touch guns. This is Texas. Don't want to touch those guns. Uh, let's go to infrastructure. So we want to get some money, um, state money for bridges, etc. Uh, road congestion is bad, but in road quality 68, which is pretty good. Uh, the road congestion is pretty bad. So we're going to try to reduce road congestion. This is not a very strong platform. But now we need to start essentially stumping for ourselves in a vote. Uh, and this is where things get really interesting. So the first thing we do, we can actually just jump here to the schedule uh, and it'll give us an idea of what our campaign manager thinks we should do. So that's what I'm gonna do for now is just knock on doors for 40 hours because absolutely nobody knows us. And actually it even seems like the presence of our candidate um, is not really uh, welcome here. Right now it seems like some people are saying the economy is the main issue at the moment. Um, and if we want to, we can always go to our policy and sort of change uh, what we're looking at here. But I'm going to take a look again at the schedule. We're going to pass to the... Oh, sorry about that, folks. It's a little hard to record uh, in this game, I will admit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just pass to the next um, actual turn. And what this will do is go to week two. Now, again, 17 weeks before the primary election. But there's another thing we can do here. Once we go to events, we can actually do some fundraising, which I think is a really good idea. But I understand why he's telling me to knock on doors, because currently... Uh, we absolutely need to go ahead and get some people, um, you know, to just know about us, essentially, in the community. So we are going out to knock on doors. And another thing we can do is contact uh, different unions or organizations that we think are going to be helpful to us. So I'm actually going to go ahead and contact uh, the National Nurses Association. And what I'm going to do here is attend their events. Uh, currently, we have to actually wait until the end of this week. But I'm going to attend their events and see if I can't create sort of a relationship here. And if I can, then I can actually give speeches um, over here and potentially get some voters. So you can see they actually got some Democratic voters uh, through the speech. So I might give another one over here and try to boost that enthusiasm again. But keep in mind, every time I give a speech, it's essentially five hours off my schedule. And of course, uh, time is money, just like, uh, just like a real election here. I think I also want to try and get maybe the women's rights organization here again we're, tr we're trying to create a political um you know sort of uh j just a politician um this is not necessarily you know these are not necessarily all of the ideals i support i support women's rights of course that's not what i'm saying um but what i mean to say is that you can just create whatever kind of candidate you like actually apparently she heard me because she, her trust is at three percent so she's not too fond of me what one bit um i won't be doing any uh any campaign speeches there but this just gives you an idea of the different things that you're able to do in this game to, of course, bring people on board. Now, there are currently no speech opportunities for the teachers, so I'll go ahead and see if I have any time left or, or time remaining. And I actually do. I've got 10 hours. So again, I'm going to go to the events. Uh, sorry. Shame on me. I'm going to go to the events and do some more door knocking, guys. And look at that. We're actually getting more Republican voters because I think we took the socially conservative Democrat, which is a slightly rare Democrat. I, well, Amy Klobuchar, I would say, is probably in there. Um, so we are, of course, uh, very different from others. Now, door knocking, we could continue doing that. Eventually, what we could do is we could actually go into marketing, television ads. But here's the thing, is that in this game, depending on the position you're in, you may or may not be making any money. Uh, we're getting a few... Uh, campaign funds from individual donations. So that's probably right now Charles Snow is probably going to suggest that we go and uh, speak to our people. That being said, we just got a local print interview. That's absolutely awesome. Um, so what that allows us to do is, of course, get in the paper. And did you see the recognition we got there? Just wonderful. I'm also going to go ahead and speak to the National Nurses Association and the National Education Association and do some door knocking here. Gain a little more recognition, of course, and hopefully uh, get the voter turnout on my side. Now, here's another crazy thing about this game is that occasionally what you can do is just use your position to make money for future campaigns. I actually ran for president just to make a bunch of money um, on my candidate, 
and it seems to have worked out pretty well. We're actually going to jump to that particular um, game, which I have saved, where I've won a city council election. I know, it's amazing, uh, but it took me five years to win that city council election. And now, of course, you know, the world is my way. So let me introduce you guys to Brent Hayden from Franklin County, Ohio. That's right, guys. An approval rating of 51%, a city council member and a Democrat here. And this just goes to show you what you can achieve uh, if you are able to, well, I don't know, um, you know, be a decent politician, somewhat semi-decent politician. Now, uh, I'm currently actually going to run for mayor after, but right now I am... Um, just a city legislator and what I can do is I can actually create legislation so for instance let's go ahead and see if I can get um, education for the unemployed and I'm gonna try to push this as a law and what's gonna happen now uh, is we're gonna get a hearing where different Democrats and Republicans that make up the city council will share their thoughts on you know which is the best decision etc um, which is pretty cool. I think it's an interesting thing and I'm gonna go ahead and support it And it seems like we have 93% support for this uh, proposal The legislation has been signed into law by the mayor So again that adds to my political point average up here But another thing is that the mayor can actually veto legislation However, if the city council, I think it's more than 50% uh, vote against the veto um, Then of course he has to pass it into law either way whether he likes to, wants to or not um, but anyway, that's not what you guys wanted to see. I'm glad you guys got a profile here on my candidate. Um, I tried to make him a real corporate Democrat. Seems to have made it through. Um, and essentially, ooh, essentially what we're going to do now is jump back to that election because I know that's what you guys want to see, the outcome of that election. But keep in mind, when you just start in this game, you just start your character, he's not going to have a lot of political experience and nobody knows about him. So it's very likely we're not going to win that election. But let's take a look. at. All right, guys, we're back to Heath Cleveland, the Democrat from Uvalde County, uh, 25 years old, quite a, quite a young guy. And of course, continuing on with this campaign uh, to try and win this council seat. We'll have to see what happens, of course. Uh, election's going to take place in 10 weeks. I'm skipping ahead a lot here, uh, where otherwise I would be doing door knocking, things like this, uh, to try and actually get a victory. Uh, but we didn't pick the most popular candidate, honestly. One thing we will do is we're going to go ahead and throw all of our money into marketing, which is going to get us 63,000 ad views. Not too bad. And again, a lot of respect with the Republicans. I think I might have to switch parties um, if I'm going to run with, with uh, Mr. Cleveland here. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, eight weeks away. And again, you can spend this time doing anything you want. Um, you can, of course, you know, try and patronize voters through speeches. You can knock on doors. You can try and fundraise to make more money. You can even at some point, not currently because we really don't have much respect, um, but you can actually have a rally um, that people will actually attend and will raise your respect level amongst certain communities. So over here, television ads, we can go specifically for television ads. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, and we'll talk about the minimum wage. We want to increase the minimum wage here. And of course, now people know us a little bit better. Maybe we appeal uh, to the other, um, to the more uh, progressive Democrats a little bit more at this point. And we're just going to go to the next turn. And essentially, we're just going to jump right to the election. So you guys get an idea of how that works. And let me be, let me be very clear. Um, when you're doing a presidential election, you do have to go through the presidential primaries. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the level of just, uh, you know, detail that they do here. So you've got to win each individual state and you've got to determine whether you're going to play ads in each individual state. You've got to find a way to raise money. It's just incredible, the level of detail in this game. Um, I'm just so surprised by how detailed it is. Now, our primary election is actually going to be taking place in two weeks. And again, I'm just going to put everything into marketing. Um, I'll do what I can try and win one over on her, although it looks to me that I am losing with the Democrats, and so I won't beat the primary, uh, my primary opponent, which will be another Democrat. And then, just like a presidential election, we go on to the actual um, general election, as it were. So let's go ahead, we'll try to speak to some nurses. We'll knock on everybody's door, threaten them with certain things to try and get their respect. But again, we really are doing best with the independents and the Republicans. So what you would probably do with this particular candidate is you would switch parties. And you can do that. You can change parties to Republican. I wonder if we could do that now, but no, we can't do it during an election campaign. However, it is something that you can do. Um, now, again, with the jobs, guys, 
we just took the the first thing but we could go here and run for president if we want uh there's no you know there's no minimum amount of cash to actually get in you could just jump in and see how you do but of course i would recommend um a lot of experience with this game and probably starting few million um to be able to even consider a presidential run although it just just goes to show you how many different things you can do we're currently running for just you know city council um so just quite amazing stuff here Let's go ahead, and here we go, the city, sorry, city mayor. So the city mayoral uh, results, and it's me versus Victor Zamora, and it looks like Mr. Zamora is going to win there with 1,148 votes, 53.6%. That's because we really didn't do much, or we really didn't put in much effort. But it just goes to show you how you can actually try and get an election in your favor. And if you do win here, then of course you get control of being a mayor. You could eventually stop being mayor, drop out, and maybe run for a higher office. Or you could try to remain mayor and face uh, an incumbent in the upcoming election. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. Again, I think this is the best U.S. political simulator out there. Just amazing. Um, I rarely love a game this much, but I would give this easily, you know, 9 out of 10. It's, it's really good. Uh, definitely pick it up if you like politics and if you want to create your own political candidate. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Obviously, do the same if you're not, even if you're uh, uh, not new to my channel. But, um... Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. And again, make sure to check this out on Steam. Just so much fun to be had and hours and hours of replay re uh, replayability. Sorry, I am just so excited about becoming city council member. It's incredible. I've never had this much power.